Hi everybody and welcome to another educational bite presented by Acorn Internet Services Incorporated. My name is Annie Buck and today I'll be presenting number installment number 35 Facebook Timeline for Business or as Facebook is calling it New Facebook Pages. Um, as many of you know the timeline platform was introduced by Facebook a couple of months ago and they allowed people to preview it and use it in advance of making it mandatory for everyone which looks like that's going to happen on March 30th. Um, in the meantime they have now introduced the same sort of look and feel for your business page and at first it may seem daunting and like oh another thing I have to figure out about Facebook but it's really got a lot of cool features and functions and we're gonna go over those today um, the first thing that I recommend is that when you are first um, logging into Facebook and wanting to find out about these new pages come to this link it's www.facebook.com slash about slash pages and this is all about the new Facebook pages and what they look like. Um, when you are logged into Facebook and you have a business page, you may see this will say something like preview your page. So if you have a business page, you may have a green button here that says preview your page. You can click that and go see what your page will look like with the new timeline um, feature on it. Um, so if you have a chance to do that go ahead and do it let's jump in let's get used to this and how it works before we're required to do it and and maybe have a hard time getting used to it um, and then you'll also see there's a video here and if you click that video it'll open up and you can watch a little video about the new Facebook pages so let's go um, take a look at what that looks like this is the Facebook page of Brewster House bed and breakfast in Maine. Um, this is um, Facebook pages owned by Scott Thomas who is the owner of Bruce Your House and you can see here uh, we have several features. We have the big profile picture um, which is called a cover and that is something that you can add in. We have the smaller profile picture and then we have our about um, photos and other widgets. So before we get into going through all of this and how this is uh, new on these Facebook pages. Let's talk about usernames. Um, you can see up here that the Facebook address for this page is facebook.com slash Brewster House BNB. Um, and the reason that we, we recommend that you go out and get a username like this or like this, this is Holua Loa Inn in Hawaii. Um, we want you to get a username and the reason we want you to get a username is because if you don't have a username and somebody clicks your Facebook link and they're not logged into Facebook it will come just instead of going to your page it will go directly to facebook.com and ask them to log in so you won't they won't be automatically directed to your page if you go to facebook.com slash usernames with an S on the end, you'll be able to go in and set up a Facebook page and I'll show you what that looks like. Um, so we'll continue and you can see um, Scott already has his set up um, for the pages and then you can put in your username um, but we won't do that of course because Scott already has Facebook set up with his username Brewster House BNB. Um, make sure you use a username if you have at least 25 likes you can do that meaning 25 people like your page so make sure you do that now um, earlier this morning when we first were looking at these new pages everyone did not have an opportunity to get in and use them um, basically what had happened was um, you would see this coming soon new Facebook pages and you could click preview and go look at it. Um, when we tried it this morning first thing we clicked preview and it just rolled around and around and around it wouldn't let us in. Um, and then we asked somebody else to do the same thing and they had the same thing happen to them. It does appear that that is now fixed and you can go in and actually click your preview button and update your pages. So um, if you have the opportunity to do it go ahead and do it. 
So you can see here um, Holua Loa Inn's Facebook page and we have different options. We have the About Us area that talks all about the uh, bed and breakfast. Let's go back to Brewster House because he is our subject today and he's allowing us to use his account to show you the info interesting information. So let's click that and you can see here you have an opportunity here to um, put in your phone number, your email address, and not only your website but other website information. And if we click this tab you can see it's got all the different tabs here. So that's what that's what it'll look like when you click that. Um, if you click the Get Directions page, it'll take you to a little map that shows you where the business is. So that's a really cool thing. It'll show you who are the page owners. Um, it shows you the hours. If it's, and this is kind of cool, if it's before you open, so Scott opens at 3 o'clock Eastern Time. When I looked at this earlier today, it said open in about 30 minutes. And then again it said later, open in about 15 minutes. So it's going to show updates on when you're open. And then once you are open, it will tell people how long you're open till. So that is kind of a cool little feature. Now let's go back. Um, one thing you'll notice here is that Scott does not have the city and state of Freeport, Maine listed here. And that is because um, when we had the Freeport, Maine in the address field. Um, when we click that, it would take us to a page that listed all of the bed and breakfasts in Freeport, Maine. And of course, that advertises your competition. So why would you want to do that? So if you can go in there and type your whole address on one line and get your whole address on one line and get it in there, that's great. Um, if you can't, leave off the city and state because you don't need to send people to a page with your competition on it. Then we have the phone number and the hours as I said before. Now let's come over to this cool little area. You can see where you used to have page navigation where people could click your tabs and go to your different pages and let's look at that here. That used to be over here. You can see this on Acorn's um, page. Those links were over here. Now they're here on the page. And um, we recommend that, well, you have to leave photos. Photos is a mandatory stuck pinned thing. So your photos are going to be stuck there. Um, so make sure you have a really great photo there. Next you have visit our website. So what this is, is this is an app that Scott has edited. It used to be a landing page. Um, landing pages aren't going to work anymore. People are not going to come to Facebook and land on your landing page. If you So if you have built a landing page or had someone else build a landing page for you, they will not land there any longer. Um, they will land on this timeline profile look. So uh, what Scott did was he went in and edited his page so that when I click that now, you can see here it says click to visit our website. And then when we click that, it jumps and it redirects to his actual website address. And we want to do this because Facebook doesn't give us any place in the about area to add our web address that will show here. And we want our URL to show up because the thing is people are going to visit you on social media, they're going to like you, they're going to maybe comment to you, they're going to talk to you a little bit. But to do business, they're going to go to your website. And we want people to engage us on Facebook and then go to our website and book rooms. That's the whole point of what we're doing here. So we want something that will direct people to the website. So in this case, he actually went in and edited an old FBML tab that was a landing page to have a link to his website. Um, we can go look at Hulua Loa Inn um, and they've got a, a an old landing page here and you can see here it still shows the little Facebook um, FBML tab. Well when we click that it actually opens up to the landing page. So if you have a landing page and it has a link to your website on it that's fine to do too. Or if you have a landing page with an FBML tab and you can edit it to add your URL, that's fine. We just want something so that people can click that link and go to your website to do business with you. 
So um, what what do you want to have up here? Well, you definitely want to keep your likes up here because you want to see you want people to see how many likes you have and how many people like you. Um, Scott has his TripAdvisor review up here, and what he did was he went in and changed the little picture to the TripAdvisor owl so that people would immediately recognize that and say, okay, I'm going to go here and read um, his reviews. And again, this was an old FBML tab. Now it does look like at this point, Facebook is um, requiring Facebook approval on any new applications. So if you don't have these set up that you can go in and edit, uh, you may have to wait for approval on new applications. So I'm just going to throw that out there. So um, anyway, Scott went ahead and put his TripAdvisor tab here. Now if we go look at Halualoa, let's go back here, we've got videos. So if we click that button, you can see that um, Halualoa Inn has added a couple of videos. That's another great idea, using those other social media um, options like videos and Twitter and whatever else. We, we like to see, we want to see a link to the website, we want to see the likes, and then of course a review button is great. Facebook used to have a review tab, they took that away, but you can actually build an application and put a review tab in. That's fine to do. All right, now how do you, how do you edit that? Click the little button over to the side that shows how many tabs you have. Now you'll see, as I hover over these little, um, icons, they've got a little edit button. So if I hover over this and click this, you can see here you've got a place where it says swap position with whatever. So you can actually move these and um, change the position of those tabs by just clicking this and telling it change position with the welcome tab and now you can see it has switched. So now I'm going to click this and tell it to change position with the Visit Our Website. And that'll bring it back. So that's how you can come in and move these around. Um, you can't pick them up and move them, but you just click this little button and then you can switch. You can also remove it, you can edit settings, so we can edit settings. Um, you can change the image right here where it says custom tab image. You click change and then it shows you what it looks like. It tells you what the application tab is. You click change and you can upload a different image there. So it's pretty easy to do, pretty cool. So that gives you a chance to customize. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and, and re-click that and you can see here that it, it um, allows you to kind of customize your little tabs and what they look like. But as I said, photos is a stuck pin tab. You can't move that and you can't move about. Now on the cover image, you need to, um, you want to put a nice, big, bright, pretty image there. Facebook has already come out and said you cannot use this for advertisement purposes. So you can't put a like us to get da da da, you know, sort of thing. You have to use something that has something to do with your business but doesn't advertise it, doesn't ask for people to like you, click there, does not promote a contest or anything like that. So in this case, you can see Scott has used this delicious um, breakfast image, which for a bed and breakfast is great. And then we look at Halualoa Inn, and Noe has used a gorgeous picture of the inn itself. These are both acceptable uses of the cover image. Don't try to go out there and put text on. Don't try to run a contest. Don't encourage people to like you or go to a website to buy anything. Um, Facebook has already said that that's not allowed and they may shut you down. If you want to change your cover image, you can click the change cover and add the new cover image. By clicking that and you can choose from photos that you already have on Facebook, you can upload a photo from your um, hard drive and then you can also reposition and then even click to remove. So you you have opportunities to come in and update your cover. So you can do that as, as often as you want. Now let's go down here a little bit and take a look at a little more. As we scroll down the page you can see this little drop down um, comes with us and it allows us to 
click to anything we want to as far as tabs. It um, lets us click to different times within Facebook. Um, and then we can see friend activity post by page or post by others. Um, and then we can also click and that takes us right back up to the top. So let's take a look here. We can see 67 friends like Brewster House Bed and Breakfast. And what this is is your friends on your profile side that like your page. Uh, we have an area here to add a post. Um, here we have Brewster House is saying visit our website. You can actually s highlight a post and that will keep it at the top of the page. Um, it says uh, recent posts by others and you can see here why I said oh I love that quiche it looks delicious. We were looking at this at pretty early this morning <laughs> and that looked really great. And then as you can see it gives your likes and then as we go down it um, shows other things that you have liked, you, that you've updated your cover photo for example, um, your blog posts that you have feeding into Facebook with RSS graffiti, and all your other posts. And then it just goes on and on and on like that forever and ever and ever. So um, as I said before, this is going to be official on March 30th and you'll have to use it. Um, make sure you watch the video. Don't create a new page. Just use the link to go in and update your existing page. Make sure you add your logo in. The new size for the logos is 180 by 180. It's a square image. Um, make sure that you go in and put in um, in your About Us tab, you can come in and um, let's see here, go back, whoops, go back, um, About Us tab, make sure you add in all of your other um, links such as Twitter, blog, Pinterest, anything at all. Make sure you go in and add those under your website area. Just put a space and a comment in between them and you can list them all. Um, and as we said before, dive in, use this. You can definitely get a lot of use out of it before it's official and you'll be used to it and that'll put you ahead of the game. Thank you so much for attending this very long educational fight by Acorn Internet Services and we hope you enjoy the new Facebook timeline. Thanks so much.